Okay, so I just want to give you a quick little introduction to the idea of fundamental frequency. Uh, Alright, so here I am in Prot, and I have uh, loaded two sounds using open read from file. Uh, let's take a look at this first one that I've called tone 140 hertz. Um, Alright, so I click on view and edit. Um, and let's play it first, so I'm going to hit... Uh, uh, oh yeah, so if I hit tab, right now the, the cursor has just jumped to, I think, halfway through the sound automatically in the middle of it. So if I hit tab, it's just going to start playing their half of the sound, as you can see by the playback cursor. If I want to play the whole thing, I can hit shift tab. So anyway, that is a approximately like a C sharp um, below middle C, if, if you're into music. Um, and now let's uh, use some uh, s uh, click and drag to select the region, and I'm doing Command N or for PCs Control N to then zoom into that region. Um, right now I have pulses turned on. Remember pulses, so um, that's what the purple line is showing. Let me turn them off for just a minute so you can see the waveform itself more clearly. So look at how uh, regular this is. If I, um, you know drew this part on a piece of paper and I just, you know, like, uh, made copies of it, then I could just lay it down and it would perfectly match all these other, um, um, movements up and down. And so, again, this is, um, um, this is here a periodic sound, as you can see from this repeating cycle. If I hit pulses, and say show pulses, you can see this a little more clearly, and let me zoom in even further. Um, so uh, let's start at this purple line here. I start at this, to this uh, top point, I'm going all the way down, I come back up, and now I'm back at the top again. That's one cycle. Um, now I'm going all the way down again and coming back up, that's another cycle. So you can see that the purple pulses are mar marking off each uh, cycle here. So there's a cycle, here's a cycle, here's a cycle. Um, this is a uh, what's called a pure tone. We'll talk more about that in, um, in, in class, but this particular kind of wave is called a sine wave, and it's really the simplest kind of shape of a waveform you can get here. Um, now, so, there are some things to look at here. If I look at the distance between this pulse mark and that pulse mark, um, remember this is exactly one cycle, um, all the way going down and then back up. Um, you can see here, Prot, it's telling me how long this duration I've selected is. And it says 0 0.007049. This is in seconds. Um, so this is 0 0.007 seconds. Remember, for milliseconds, um, that would be 7 milliseconds. Um, in red here, we have uh, the time point, the ti or time stamp in the recording um, that this selection begins at. Um, and then this is the time point in the recording at which the selection ends. Uh, you can also see, yeah, this shows the duration of this selection down here as well. Um, alright, so, um, this particular duration, um, this length of one cycle of this repeating form, that's called the period. So, I would say that, oh, this waveform, um, it has a period of approximately seven milliseconds. Um, now, uh, if I then want to talk about the frequency of this waveform, and aha, you probably remember the relation between, um, remember when we talked about sampling, the relation between sampling interval and um, sampling frequency, you just do um, one over this interval, which I'm calling the period. Um, let's bust out R really quick to just use it as a calculator. If I do 1 divided by 0 0.007049, then I get 
here you can see it's about 141 or so. Um, that's no coincidence, that's really close to 140 hertz. Indeed, this uh, sound that I have here has a frequency of 140 hertz, um, which means uh, it also corresponds to the sound having a period of approximately 7 milliseconds. Okay, so yeah, so that's this sound. Um, now I want to play you some vowels that I uh, synthesize. So these aren't actually uh, sounds I recorded from someone talking, but something I generated using um, Pratt's uh, vowel editor here. So um, what I've done here, let me let me just play it for you first. Um, by so yeah, so what I did in the vowel editor um, to create that sound was go from a ah to u um, and then to e. So sort of uh, going between these three vowels. And if we uh, listen really quick, yeah, if I play this, um, the sound we started with, the tone 140 hertz, and then I play the vowels just for uh, a second. So, so you should notice, you should notice that um, they should sound like they're the same pitch to you because, well, they are. Uh, if I go in and click view edit on here now to look at these vowels and um, let's say let's just uh, zoom into a region here and zoom in even further and further um, if we look at uh, this repeating uh, waveform here um, you can see that it kind of, uh, hard to describe the shape, but it goes like really high, whoosh, down, a little bit up, and then whoop, back up, way down, and then back up, and then yet back up. And then you can see that again, that it repeats just the same between the pulse marks. So again, we have this repeating cycle um, of um, the waveform shape, and again, the distance between the pulses is the duration of one period of this waveform, this repeating pattern. Um, I just highlighted and selected, and you can see that Protosane is approximately 7 milliseconds again. And um, indeed, remember the period we had for the other, uh, this tone file we were looking at was also 7 milliseconds. Um, one thing I want to point out is Going back to zoom in here for the tone file, um, let's make this a little skinnier. Um, if you look at the, the shape of the cycle, this one just went way down and way up. And then this one is doing all these complicated shape things. Um, and so this is a very different waveform shape. We would call it a uh, complex um, waveform. Um, but it still has the same period. So this guy is repeating every approximately seven milliseconds, as is this guy. So they, um, and by the way, um, this uh, 140 hertz, um, that's what we call the fundamental frequency of the sound. Um, so if I look further at the other vowels, in here. So this one was what, um, ah, I guess. Um, you can see here, cycle, cycle, again, we're about seven milliseconds, but look, it's completely different shape. So an, uh, another complex waveform, but, you know, way different than what we saw for, um, I guess it was the U, um, but still has the same fundamental frequency, same period of seven milliseconds, same fundamental frequency of one over seven milliseconds, which is 140 cycles per second or 140 hertz. Let's go then to our vowel here. That was our um, 
eval, I guess, and we go and look in the eval, still a quite different shape. Um, pulse to pulse again, about 7 milliseconds, but way different shape, right? So this is to point out to you that the fundamental frequency, that is, the period of these, um, of the waveform uh, across these different valves, the fundamental frequency is the same, 140 hertz, even though the complexity, the, the shape of the waveform is quite different between valves, and it's quite different from this this pure tone we started out with. So in other words, the fundamental frequency is independent of um, sort of the um, complexity of the shape of the repeating waveform. Um, and also another thing you might notice is that the amplitude is quite small here and then big here and smaller here. And another thing to just note is that fundamental frequency is also independent of amplitude. So you could have really big amplitude at 140 hertz, and you could have small amplitude at 140 hertz. Um, and this difference in complexity of, um, in, in, in the shape of the waveform we saw here in this vowel, uh, let's get a look. This is the oo. So this shape with the, you know, little up, big up, um, medium up, big up, versus, let's say, what we have here for the, I think it was the ah, um, where we have this sort of smaller pattern of ups and downs going on. That's the same kind of difference that makes the difference between when you hear the same note played on, let's say, a clarinet versus a piano or a violin or something, they have the same sound, They he you hear the same pitch, so for instance, 140 hertz, but they sound they have a different sound quality or, or timbre, and that's because they would have different um, shapes of the waveform here. Okay, so that's just a quick introduction to the idea of fundamental frequency.